In this video, we're going to be looking at the Hayward Super Pump, the model number SP2603 VSP. That's the variable speed super pump that is the 230 volt dedicated model. And in specific, what this video is going to be looking at is what RPM to achieve 25 gallons per minute. Now I've got that pump set up and running on the test lab here. We have a 150 square foot cartridge filter. Here's the pump here. It's already operating right now. Now this system is approximately 25 feet of head resistance when the pump is operating at maximum, just to give you a relative bearing. And that's important because every pool system is different. What I measure here in terms of flow rates, electrical consumption will be for this system only, your pool will be unique. Every single swimming pool will be unique in fact. But let's go ahead and take a look because this pump's already running. And I want you to see here, there we go. 1000 this pump is a little bit hard to see because i've got an overhead light but you should be able to see now 1000 rpm so at 1000 rpm we'll just reference the digital flow meter here you know between 25 and 27 gallons per minute and we're we're aiming for 25 here and that seems to be where it's settling mostly let's look at our power consumption Top left corner, you can see this is a 230 volt voltage that we're supplying it with. Top right corner is our real time power consumption, which is right around 53 watts. 0.52 amps is the current draw. So if you're not familiar with these numbers, what this means is very, very little power consumption. 53 watts of power consumption. Have you ever heard of a 60 watt light bulb? Like, I mean, we don't really use 60 watt light bulbs anymore. Everything's more efficient than that with fluorescent lighting, but 60 watts is not a lot, and that's how much this pump is consuming right now, and that's how much we're getting, 25 gallons per minute. So just to review those numbers, the Hayward Super Pump variable speed, 230 volt installation, 25 gallons per minute, approximately 53 watts of power consumption, 1000 RPM in order to achieve this flow rate and again, this is a system that is approximately 25 feet of head when this pump is running at full speed. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.